What is up everybody and today we're reacting to the Saul X trailer. I am really excited for them. I think my number second movie anticipated movie of the year. Um, I, I've been on Twitter literally waiting for this trailer and uh, I was I literally was just eating while I'm watching um, how Marvel fell off or whatever or DC and I go check my inbox 25 minutes ago this trailer's been released so let's go ahead and let's react to this trailer. Here we go. Out of all the men to cheat, you picked John Kramer? John! Okay. The cancer is still spreading. I'm afraid there's nothing else we can do. There is one person who might be able to help. Our program is a two-pronged treatment outside Mexico City. The results have been stunning. She saved my life. Yep, nope, Mexico. You're in very good hands with us. After that, what happens then? Your whole life happens then. John Kramer. According to these scans, the tumor was never removed. How much time do I have? Months, at best. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. Wow. Okay. I, I like that. I actually like that. It's like he did it for a reason, finally, you know? Because my problem with the last Saw movie was that they kind of did... Well, the Saw franchise, he just kills people just to kill them sometimes. And it just, like... Like, if you watch Saw 6, uh, the very opening of that movie just pisses me off. But this... Really like, because it's set in Saw 1 Saw 2. I just hope, even though it's filmed in 2023, that they kind of connect more to the franchise. Because Saw 1 Saw 2, how they're filmed, is really different. But we'll see really when it comes to the story and we'll see how people really as the fans watch it because I'm probably not going to see this opening weekend. But let's go ahead and get back to it. Hello everyone. It's time to play a game. You all pretended to cure me, but what I have planned for each of you is very real. I would say I don't like the pink design, though. Whoa. The only thing I have not provided is your anesthetic, but trust me, you will want I love, I love to remain movie. alert. the chief you pick john kramer please don't hesitate place a big enough piece of your cerebral tissue into the glass enzyme tank this will save your life so sleep, oh no no this is not retribution it's a reawakening or die. The choice is yours. I'm glad, okay, I'm glad they showed that. Um, be, because I'm excited for this particular Saul movie because it's kind of having story and I do hope this movie doesn't just focus on where he goes there and he starts trapping people. I hope that the movie is like paced where it's slow. And then we're and then we get more Amanda storyline with John Kramer because if they kind of just do the trap movie like they did kind of in Jigsaw, I believe they came out twenty seventeen. I wanted a fresh take on Saul. I got it in twenty twenty one Spiral, my first Saul movie, but I want something in the universe with John Kramer, and this is exciting. But I'm still cautious because ha a little half of the trailer wasn't um let me try to see here it wasn't really like a story though with amanda and that's what i was really hoping for but hey um the more we see if we get an official trailer two it comes out in september of like almost the last week of september so i'm gonna probably see it very on that 
a month, but um, I'm excited for it. I love horror movies. I like slashers, really, but this movie I'm excited for, even though it could be just a kill movie again. Um, we'll see, and I'm glad Amanda was there. I just don't, the only thing I don't like about Amanda, though, is the short hair looks so goofy, but I mean, it's not set in Saw 3. If it was set in Saw 3, it would be, um, I would love Amanda more. I love Amanda in Saw 3. Saw 2, bad character. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see about this one. Um, I'm mixed on the Saw franchise. I'm currently binging them, and I'm binging the Halloween movies as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next trailer reaction. Peace out, guys.